Hello, folks. So, I just got EQ Mod working with my new EQ6R Pro mount. And what I've learned today, I'm, I'm a new guy, so keep that in mind. I'm going to pass on to you. And I want to give a big shout out to my friend um, Doug, who uh, showed me, uh, gave me a bunch of tips on things that um, I, I probably would have been scratching my head on or would have had to watch a bunch of YouTube videos to, to gather all that information. But he let me know up front and it saved me a lot of time. So thanks to, to Doug for what he showed me. And thanks to everybody else who offered to help. I got so many people um, with comments in my on my last YouTube video offering to help and giving me tips. I can't thank everyone, but I really appreciate that. So let me show you from the beginning um, what I did here. And the first thing is um, uh, with EQ Mod, you, you basically don't need the handset that comes with the, the mount. So uh, mine is unplugged. I put it back in the box. I, I don't need the handset. And let me tell you up front, I have the newer model of the EQ6R Pro. So I have the USB port right on the mount head itself. So that's, I'm coming from that standpoint. So I, I know there's... Um, older mounts, and of course, they, they have a different uh, PC link cable, um, but that I'm not covering that. So anyway, let's get started here. OK, so the only thing we need to download is uh, the EQ mod software. And, and, and I'm assuming you already have um, ASCOM, the ASCOM platform already loaded on your your computer. I already had mine loaded, so I'm not covering that. So uh, make sure you have ASCOM loaded before you start. So what I'm going to do here is uh, I'm going to put, uh, let's see, EQ mod download. And it's on the Source Forge website. And let's look for downloads. <clears throat> oh, I think it's, we're already there. Let's see. Um, the latest, okay, okay, it'll take us right here. Let's click on Source Forge. And I'm going to scroll down. And, oops, let's see. This one, I want EQ ASCOM. So I clicked on that. And I downloaded the latest one, uh, that one. Um, now, uh, if there's a better version or something else, you guys can, can correct me as I go because, like I said, I just uh, uh, I'm I did this for the first time today, and it, it all seems to work. I, I can control my mount through EQ Mod, connect through Sequence Generator Pro, but this is what I downloaded. That one, I'm not going to do it again. I already have it downloaded, so um, let's go to the next part here. Okay, so this is the file that I downloaded, and you would just click on it. The whole install here because I've already done it. But um, the steps are pretty basic. There, there's no tricky questions in here. Just go through the steps. I left that as default, and then I just clicked install. So um, that's all you have to do there. there there's uh, um, nothing to worry about there. The next thing I did, I'm um, after you run the install. I'm in Windows 10 here. I went to EQ Mod. And I looked for the, let's see, there's a toolbox here somewhere. Not that, not that. Toolbox, there it is. So I ran that. And let's see here. I went to, um, let's see, the driver setup. So I clicked on driver setup. And um, from here, um, the first thing I did um, was, now none of these were set before. Um, um, I saved off my profile. Um, but what I did is uh, I set my COM port to uh, the, whatever my mount, the COM port my mount was using. And how I figured that out is I went into uh, this PC in Windows 10. I hit Properties. And um, I went into the device manager. Here, let me just hit OK there. I went into device manager. 
and I looked under ports. I've only got one thing connected to my USB ports, and that's the mount. And it says, uh, profile USB to serial COM port, COM4. That's the one I was using. So um, that's how you'll find what COM port your, your mount is plugged into. Now, if you've also got uh, um, uh, an automatic, an autofocuser plugged in and whatever, whatever else, you, you may have to spend a little more time figuring that out. Uh, they they may compete for com port, so you have to you know make sure you're using the right ones there. <clears throat> I don't have anything hooked up yet to this mount, so all I've got is my, my the mount plugged into the laptop. Nothing else is plugged in. So once I did once I selected uh, um, the port, um, I went to to actually see if it was working. And so let's say uh, ASCOM Connect. I, I click that, and uh, what you'll see is uh, it, it shows that I'm parked right now, but um, I didn't get that the first time, um, even though I was I had selected the, the correct COM port, and um, it just kept saying um, it, it couldn't communicate. I forget what the error message actually was, but it, it would not connect. And... This is the part where I kind of got mad. I pouted like a baby and went to watch TV. You know, it's like I just didn't want to deal with it. But after after I uh, I, I I cleared my head, I went to look on Cloudy Nights, and on Cloudy Nights says you can't just set the correct COM port. Um, what you also have to let me disconnect here. What you also have to do for this USB setup is set the baud rate the baud rate defaults to where did i set that poor settings the right here the the baud rate defaults to 9600 that won't work um it didn't work for me and on cloudy night it didn't work for the other guy that had this new usb port um when he set it to 115 200 all of a sudden it worked and i'm like well let me try that it worked for him and it worked for me. So you have to do it there, set it there, and you also have to set it in the driver setup. Um, right here, it also defaulted to um, 9600. So you want to make sure um, you have that set to 115, 200, and you will be able to connect. And let's see, what else here? Now, um, <coughs> excuse me, I didn't go through every one of these settings. My main goal so far is just connect the mount, get it working, make sure I can it, it actually uh, slews, that I can control it from the computer, that I can connect to it in Secret Generator Pro. Then I'm going to go through and play around and see if how important these other settings are. Like right now, I just copied Doug's settings for the latitude and longitude, but I'm going to set those to my own settings. And um, let's see what else I want to show you. Give me a second here. Okay, so when you power your mount on, by the way, you want to make sure that it's in its home position first. And when you power it down, you want to make sure it's back in its its home position. Um, and it's not like my CGX where it automatically finds its home position. You kind of define that position yourself. Um, and I took Doug's approach where he just sort of... Um, he adjusted the deck and the RA so that it um, appeared to be pointing to the Polaris, the, the North Star. And then he just uh, uh, adjusted the green ring and then on zero to line up with the index marker on his deck and RA. And then he tightened it up. And that's he just basically, that's his home position and that's what I'm going to do. So whenever I, I, uh, I power my mount on and off, I'm going to make sure I'm in that home position for both the RA and the deck. So... I was wondering how you define your home position, but uh, that's how I'm going to do it. I'm going to do what Doug did. Uh, if you guys have other suggestions, I'm, I'm, I'm open to listening to that. So now let's try and connect here. Um, I've got the right baud rate. I've got the right com port, and I'm, I'm parked right now. But all I have to do is unpark. And um, this is the uh, now. Um, let me park it again. Now, from here, I'm assuming while it's parked, this is when I'm going to run my pole master. Um, I'm going to line it up, do my pole master, and at that point, 
um, is when I want to unpark the mount. After I'm done with Pole Master, I'm going to say unpark, and then I want to start the mount tracking. So I'm going to hit uh, this button here, side reel. I think this is the one, the button that Doug mentioned before. Um, and that, I, I assume, it, that's the one that starts the mount tracking. And let me go into uh, um, Sequence Generator Pro. I'll shrink that. Now, um, you know what? I think, I think I probably could have done all that. Uh, let me park this again. And I'm going to exit this. Oh, no, let me tell you what. Let me, let, let's just try this here. Where is the, oh, disconnect. So none of the EQ mod, EQ mod is not running right now. This is what I'm expecting to do. After I've done my pole master, then I launch Sequence Generator Pro. Um, I'll have EQ mod, ASCOM, um, HEQ 5.6 selected. That'll be saved off by default. And then from there, so I haven't done anything with EQ mod yet, and I will connect, and that will launch, okay? And once I th see this, this is when I'm going to unpark and start the tracking. Now, if I'm wrong, let me know, but so far, this is the way I see it. I can't test this out for... Probably another 10 days, our forecast is so bad. Um, and let me shrink this now. And then from there, um, I'm assuming at this point, you know, after everything else is connected, that I, I run plate solving. And I, I have other videos on, on how to plate solve. So that is the gist of what I have learned today. I, I hope that helps. Um, this certainly wasn't a detailed um, review of EQ Mod, but I think it's enough to get anyone started and make sure you can connect. So um, that's all I got to share, folks. I will see you later.